What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here and we are down here in Key West with Aaron, Captain Aaron Young with Dibs on Bottom Adventures. It's a chartered service here in Key West and he also has a YouTube channel as well which is Key West Waterman. He's going ahead and bringing me up a rod with 30 pound braid. We got 30 pound leader and a little bit of wire at the end because the fish we're about to catch has teeth. We have Blue Gabe in all his glory over What's here. <laughs> Yesterday we did make an awesome video on Blue Gabe's channel catching monstrosity of these snapper. Y'all will have to check that out. But right now we're going to try to catch these TV fish. Pick the magic hook. Small that's and that's silver right tiny. there. That is a little guy. We're going to trick him. Oh my goodness. Before we got out here, you guys, it is rough and it is insanely windy. Um, we went ahead and cast netted some live bait and I'm happy we did because Aaron just caught one of these fish on a good old live bait. Hooking my bait. Right through the noggin. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. All right. Cast that baby out there. Mom, Switch with you. you guys what we caught so I'm gonna show you guys Aaron's massive sado mackerel that he just caught I mean that's the biggest one I've ever seen so big Good flip job. Ah! <laughs> Dang, you're strong. Calm down, calm down. Please don't bite me. All right, I got a good grip on him. Check that out. This one's actually a hair smaller than the one Aaron caught, but still a massive, massive potato mackerel. Good thing it's not too windy out here. <laughs> right or rough. We're over here rocking away. My right hand is sore from pinching his tail so hard. I'm gonna bleed him out, stick him in the cooler. When I eat my fish sashimi style, I like to bleed him out. That, that way they have a more or less of a bloodline. the live bait. The mackerel stopped chewing. I put down a sand bowl with a piece of bonita. 
hooked up to something on the bottom. I'm gonna say a big yellow tail snapper, but I'm not sure what happened. I still have the hook and everything. Nice boy. Huh. Well, he just came off. Oh, I think it is. Oh. <laughs> Look at the size of that porgy. Is that a porgy? Oh my god. You I got thought. Him, no, it's, I think it's a bonita. Dang. Yeah. We need fresh bait. I thought it was a mackerel, but it turns out. I did not myself. <laughs> that was enough. Oh my gosh, that thing kicked my butt. Well, so much for a mackerel, but hey, we can always use fresh bait. and stuff. I oh, know. Where's our flyers? Um, you know, I, those kind of went missing, honestly. They're somewhere. In the
to go in the water to shoot a wahoo. Fingers crossed. All right, buddy. Go tell your blue friends. Well, it has been a crazy eventful day, <clears throat> say the least. I mean, the wind is so bad, I'm just tired from the wind. <laughs> I'm like mentally and physically exhausted just from the wind blowing so hard. The boat's been rocking all day. <sighs> Man. Anyways, we got a mess of fish. Let me show you guys. Dun, dun, dun. We have the Mouton Snapper. We have the big old monstrosity yellowtail snapper. Hold up. They might be covered in ice though. Let's see. Ooh, there's Zero, Bonita for bait, Porgy, Porgy, and some more yellowtail snappers. So I was reeling up my bait, just kind of giving up on mutton fishing. Then this kingfish just happened to swipe my bait. I got it, I got it to the surface at the edge of the boat. My adrenaline's kicking right now. They're both in the water, so I grab the gaff. Finally tired out the kingfish. I gaff him, get him in the boat. Here he is. Woo! Nice little treat. As you can see, we are not on the boat anymore. We're actually at Aaron's house. Um, I'm with Will here. He has a YouTube channel too called Cooking with Clams. He actually owns a restaurant in New York. He's owned it for eight years now? Eight years, yeah. Greenpoint Fish and Lobster. We do all bycatch, um, underutilized species, and sustainable fish. So things you wouldn't normally see. Yeah, and that's a really cool concept for a restaurant. I absolutely love that. So right now I'm cutting up the Ciro mackerel. Do you say Ciro or Ciro? Ciro. Ciro? Yeah. Okay. We're so Lauren, shout out to Lauren Sarasua. Uh. <laughs> she says Ciro. She like rolls her R, I think because she tries to be fancy. And now that's how I say Ciro. <laughs> and Gabe's like, it's Ciro. <laughs> Lauren makes everything fancy. I know she does. Oh, I love Hi, her. Hi, Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Lauren? 
So we are making ceviche, probably my absolutely favorite dish like ever. You can pretty much use anything from fish to red meat to the only thing you can't use. <laughs> that was the win. <laughs> the only thing you can't use is like chicken. I, no, no, you can't use chicken. <laughs> you can use fish and red meat. Um, he is squeezing the limes and lemons, which is really acidic -y. And then we're gonna put the fish in there. So you wanna do the fish first, depending on what you're putting in the ceviche because What'll end up happening, like we're gonna put peppers in, some people put cucumbers. If you throw in your cucumbers right away before the fish cures, the water from the cucumbers is gonna come out and dilute the acid mm. in your lemon and your lime, and actually you're not gonna get as nice a cure on the fish. That makes sense. So you add fish first, all your veg later. I've always done it backwards. Really? Because <laughs> we normally will make it and then like take it on the boat and then catch whatever we're gonna catch and put yeah. it in there. Oh yeah, so your fish is probably just more raw. Yeah, which is not, I mean, zero, we, we're gonna eat it raw right here, so. Oh yeah. It's not a bad thing. Look at that though. When I was watching Will make this, I was like drooling. He's already cutting up a green apple and I'm like, you're making sashimi. He's like, yes, I know. I'm cutting this green apple. And I was like, oh, I'm so excited. So this is the Sierra mackerel with a tiny thin slice of green apple. What is this, red pepper? Red jalapeno, a, red chili, a red chili pepper, <laughs> but just the end. So it's not, not it, it spicy. won't blow you out of the water. No, <laughs> it won't. And then some of this stuff. Hold on. Where is it? Oh, it's in the cabinet right there. This one. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. I've never heard of this before. It's called sumac. 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 It has a lemony flavor. I like to describe it as like a smoky lemon flavor, which I think will pair very well with that. I want to go ahead and give this a try. Go, oh, yeah. All right. And here's some soy sauce. Where's I don't think sauce? you're going to need the soy sauce. Uh, All right, I'm going to do one, one without soy sauce and one with. And that's falling apart. So the <laughs> one thing with mackerel, look, I'm just making a sandwich right now. I lied. I'm totally using soy sauce. Just a hair. <laughs> just a little bit. Oh, my God. That's so good. All right. <laughs> no wonder you go in a restaurant. That is insane. And it's kind of cool because it's lemon. So green apple, lemon, a little bit of that chili pepper, some of that sumac stuff on it. Oh my gosh. And the lemon has the whole rind, the whole peel, everything. People cringe when you do that, but you didn't, it didn't bother you, right? Mm. Like the whole. It's cut so thinly that it doesn't, it's not like you're taking a bite out of a lemon. And when you make cheesecake, you use lemon rind in it. Well, exactly. It, right? so. Yeah. That is amazing. Hold on, I want Blue Game to try this real quick. I'm sitting here wondering why the star of the show doesn't get up and come try it. <laughs> He's chilling. Listen, I eat this all the time. I'm letting y'all have some. <laughs> you guys, if you want to check out one of his coolest videos, and he had something happen to him that I've had happen to me, and same with Kelly. Every now and then we'll do a video where we're like, oh, we just need like a filler video, something to get us to our next big video. Well, he did that, and now it's one of his biggest videos. Literally. It was filmed. Just right show real quick. It was filmed right here in his backyard, which is paradise. Look at that. So beautiful. So if you check his channel out, what was the title of that video? What it's like living in paradise. What it's like. That's a pretty accurate description too. Living in wow, paradise. Is good. Although I forgot to put wasabi on it, but it was so good. I don't need it. The thinly mm -hmm. lemon thing threw me off oh. when he first did it, and I ate it, and I was like, you don't want to taste it. Mm -mm. And for somebody who doesn't like spicy, that, that red jalapeno doesn't bother you, right? Yeah, mackerel is so good, and so many people catch mackerel, and they're like, right? Like, a yeah. mackerel can be better than any fish caught. Man, that's good. Oh, yeah. Well, I gotta go Going in here. for seconds? I know, I'm about to eat that whole plate. <laughs> it's so funny because of COVID and all these crazy things going on in the world, people see us eat with our fingers. And boy, did we get some slack. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Literally in all our videos too, we just make like one plate and we're all just like dig it in too. That's the way I grew up. Just like our the fish that, uh, the yellowtail that Gabe made on the sandbar. We're just like. That's how you build a strong immunity. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. It makes and... a little bit of Key West with a little bit of Stewart with a little bit of Ona. You're good. A little bit of commercial. Oh, yeah. yeah. And drinking out of the water hose as a kid. Exactly. Faux show. All right. What should we got? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put that. So throw, throw your fish in there. 
fish first and pour over the ceviche. And then pour over. That's, so when you do your ceviche, see, you guys say you do it backwards. No, he does it backwards. Okay. <laughs> well, typically, like I said, I do it so, backwards because we'll be going well, to the Bahamas or we're okay, going to the okay. sandbar, so we make it. People always ask me, how much do you put in? Like, how much red onion, how much this? It's dependent on the fish. fish. So I like, like, I just kind of recently, I, I'll cut the fish a little bit bigger and then I make all my vegetables smaller. So I don't know, it kind of, so you know you're getting a bite of the fish. That's, I did a Wahoo video like that because I didn't want the Wahoo to completely cure. So in the center, it was still raw and it was just cured on the outside and it was so good. <laughs> good. Sweet, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and cut up some cherry tomatoes. And ceviche is so cool because you can literally put anything in it and you can do, you can be experimental with every single bowl you make. I like putting fresh mango. That's my favorite. That is the ultimate, like <laughs> fresh mango. Sometimes when you make, it's so good, but like the mango will overpower everything. So you're eating like a mango salsa, which is really good though. Dibs, you just double dipped. I did. Oh my <laughs> goodness. I can't not get another one. I know, I want another one too. We gotta get to chopping. Alright. Alright, that was my last one. Alright, we're gonna chop up these vegetables and then when we're done, we're gonna put it all together. You just ate the last one. Listen, Blue Gabe was gonna eat it and I'm like, no, puppy dog eyes. He did put a lot of wasabi on there, so RIP. Mm. <laughs> you got some raccoon eyes kicking this morning. I do. Wasabis. <laughs> We're good. I'm so excited. If you can't tell, this is like my favorite thing ever to do with ceviche. All right, so explain why you put the red onion in water. So some people, it gives them indigestion, indigestion, and a lot of times when you eat onion, raw onion, you ever notice like you get the onion burps? So if you put them in water and let them soak for about 20 minutes, it takes that, the oil and the gas that's in there, it'll pull it out into the water, and then you pull those out and you won't get that, the onion burps that are bad for first dates. <laughs> <laughs> that's a really like, it makes sense though, and I never really thought about that. Probably it won't make you cry, cry you. Exactly. You know. All right. So let's go ahead and can we just start adding stuff? Yeah. In? All right, we'll do our tomatoes first. I've actually learned the tomatoes in ceviche from Gabe behind the camera. I never put tomatoes in it and he did it one day and I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. And the oranges as well. I used to just squeeze the orange into the ceviche and Will's like, let's chop it up and put it in the ceviche. So I was like, good idea, let's do it. Tipsy, come here, <laughs> show, show him Tipsy. Tipsy, what are you doing? <laughs> Does she want taco? Does she like fish? Raw fish? Oh, yeah, fish. <gasps> All right, you want hold a on, taco? Tipsy. Come on. We're about to give you a little treat. Tipsy. I don't have it. Come here. <laughs> you gotta give some love into the old, old, the old, old sit. woman here. Sit. Sit your butt. Good girl, Tipsy. Oh, yeah. Good She's stuff. such a good girl. Such a good stuff. All right, thank you. We're doing some cilantro. Will's probably like, I wanted to top it with that, not so much stir no, it in No, I right. put it in, are you crazy? <laughs> All right, and then um, I actually already bought pre-cut peppers just because I kind of thought we were doing this on the boat, but as you guys could tell, it was way too windy and rough. So we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle some peppers in there. I saw that, I was jealous of you guys' know. trip, and then I saw you were anchored, and there were waves almost coming up over the bow. I was like, <laughs> Yes. No. <laughs> Very happy at home right now. But did you see the part where we cooked the yellowtail on the beach? Not yet. I gotta watch the video. That's gonna be so beautiful on oh, camera. Oh, it is. Oh my gosh. This looks so beautiful. I love colorful food, honestly. Alright. What you doing? What you looking for? The salt. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> Will made this salt. <laughs> Real sea salt made from Will in Key West. Never again. <laughs> the longest process of anything. You know, it's a cool process, but I think I'll just go buy salt from now on. It's a one and done. You do it once and you're like, I did it. There you go. 
Oh, this is amazing. I'm like a guru with sea salt. I love sea salt. It has so many good minerals for you. It's really cool. This is Key West finest. <laughs> Did you get out of the water from out there? No, we were we were out in blue water actually. Yeah, we were sword fishing. Yeah. Oh, well, that's like. And brought back a couple of jugs and then cooked it down. It. It's interesting. That's another rabbit hole you can go down. Is how to make <laughs> sea yes. salt. And if you have the time and patience to actually let the sun cure it, that's when you get the big, nice flakes. I, so I have the, a jar of that at home. Oh. That I use. Taste it, babe, and see if you can see, or if you can oh. taste it. Oh, this? Oh. Yeah. All right, hold on. Taste the Key West. <laughs> Might be some mahi poop in there, some sea turtle. <laughs> Salty. <laughs> that's really salty. It was funny because when he finished it, he, I was like, how is it? He goes, salt. tastes like salt. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, the uh, desired effect was achieved. Salt. <laughs> so the last thing I'm adding is the avocado just because the avocado gets a little mushy and I don't want it to be like a puree. I still want to be able to see like the clear juices of the lime. So I'm just going to give it a light toss. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I've actually, as many times as I've made ceviche, I've never made it with mackerel. Really? No. I made it with like so good. yellow jack. I was going to say, it's similar to yellow jack. Do you have a preference between Ciro mackerel and Spanish mackerel? I, I prefer Ciro. Really? Okay. But I like both of them. I mean, I can't, you know. But what I about can't... Margate? Do you like big Margates? <laughs> Cause I was in the Margate hole yesterday. I know a spot. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, like Dib, Dib said, he's like, they must be spawning or something because we caught they so many big white Margates. Like my right arm was killing me this morning. Yes, they were huge too. And they fight just like mutton, so you can't like, yeah. oh, it's a Margate. No, you're like, I gotta reel this thing all the way in to make sure. <laughs> all right, so my favorite chips to have with ceviche are these bad boys right here. All right, Dibs, come on over here. Right. Pat and Aaron. <laughs> I'm hungry, so I'm not gonna turn it down. Green, some Ciro. This was the actually the massive Ciro that you caught. Was it? Yes. So if it's too tough, that I means pride and joy. you fought him too hard. <laughs> it's, yeah, if it's too mushy, you just didn't bring them in fast enough. <laughs> tell, me, tell me if it needs salt or anything. I think it might be salty enough. Okay. I don't know. Mmm. No. Mm. It doesn't need any salt. That's perfect. Oh my god. That's so good. And there's salt in the chips too. And the chips are like lime, so it gives you an extra kick of lime. Are they the hint of lime ones? Yes. Oh, I love that. Hold on, babe. Hold. Oh, I want to. I want to do a comparison real quick. Get you another chip ready. What? Who spills the most? I want to show you? how a man can eat a chip and then how a girl can <laughs> eat a chip. I give Kelly something to try on my video, and it's falling down through her fingers. Like, look. Well, he eats the whole thing. <laughs> She's over here leaning over, spilling it on the counter. Right. Oh, I got a big mouth? You got, I got a tiny mouth, though. Oh, I want some orange in there. That orange is nice. It's All nice right, cut. Will. Would you serve this at your restaurant? Dun, dun. Or what it's would you oh, yeah. It's very bright. That's good. Literally and <laughs> Much better. <laughs> she got it in there. All right, one more. I've only done the tomato a couple of times, but it's, it's good. It's different. Yeah, it's good. Y'all lost me at the cilantro. I'm a good cameraman right you can't now. Even taste hardly, it. I'm a good cameraman. You can't even taste the cilantro. The only time I eat cilantro and enjoy it is that pollo tropical and the cilantro sauce. <laughs> well, good. the the salsa verde is all cilantro, and you love I don't that think sauce. Can even taste the cilantro, really? No, there's, there's yeah. Well, a, I'm one of those rare people that it really affects. Okay, there's a whisper of cilantro in there. Yeah, it's barely. You should yeah. see it when I make ceviche, the whole thing is cilantro. <laughs> my brothers, both my brothers are the same way. Really? Oh, so good. So I get the close up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yum. May. Oh, I gotta wait. I gotta call Dibs out real quick. Uh oh. Oh, God. Come here, Dib. Dib, Dib. So, for those of y'all that watched my video where I did the fastest catch, clean, and cook ever, some people have felt the nerve to leave a comment and say that there was a guy that beat me. Well, if you watch his video, he cuts it like 12 times. In my video, I don't cut it at all. And I'm challenging Dibs for him to try to beat my five minute record right here off the porch. I don't know if you can see those school of grunts down there and snapper. But the rules this. are no cutting the clip and the time starts when you hook the fish. All right. 
Now, if you hook a big mangrove and you have to fight him for a minute, that's not my fault. I feel like it might get, what if it gets caught in the trees? Oh, we got this. We got this. Challenge accepted. And you can't have Will. <laughs> it has to be you. Kelly's filming me and I could see she wanted to try. Will's gonna no. make the mac and cheese that I catch the snapper with. I was so nervous that when I went to flay my fish, I flayed right, cut right through him. And I'm like, oh no, regroup. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. I got this. Oh, we got school leaders. All right, there. you guys. So be on the alert for Key West Waterman's video of challenging the fastest catch, clean, and cook ever. Right now, we are going to devour this ceviche. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out Blue Gabe's channel as well. Subscribe to mine and Key West Waterman, and we will see you guys next time. See ya.